How to be poor forever In the culture where I grew up, they have a proverb that goes something like, there's something ugly behind riches. I don't know if you've heard something like that before, but one thing I do know is that almost everywhere in the world, most people believe that the rich are bad people or that riches is ugly. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can be poor forever. Though I wonder why you are interested in a video with a negative title like this, but I hope you instead want to know how to be poor so that you can avoid being poor. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now here is the simple thing that will make you poor forever. The hatred for the rich As I've told you earlier, most people in my culture are suspicious of the rich. When you are rich, they'll believe that you probably steal, cheat, lie or you're dubious. Because of this suspicion, being rich connotes a negative thing and that's why most people are poor. Listen, you cannot have what you hate. You can't be rich when you hate the rich. Righteousness and Riches Let me explain this with a personal story. A few months ago, someone called my company and she wanted us to have a deal together. She was willing to pay us some reasonable amount, but her deal was not legitimate. She wanted me to sign an illegitimate document with the name of my company. I was on phone with this woman and after listening to her request, I politely told her, Madam, we are sorry, we don't do that here. Though she wanted to pay my company, I knew it was not the right thing to do and since I'm the owner of the company, it was super easy for me to reject any ugly offer. Now to the other side of the coin, I have some friends who work in the corporate world with these big companies. Many times these people will be asked to do what is not right and they must not reject such offer because saying no to such thing means the end of your job. The reason why these people are doing the wrong things to keep their jobs is that they are poor and not free. The reason why I can reject someone who offered to give me money to do the wrong thing is because I'm rich and free. Now think about this, why do people think that money is dirty? Why do people think that you must do the wrong things before you can be wealthy? Why do people hate the rich? Ignorance, ignorance, ignorance. Ignorance is the reason why people hate the rich. It's also the reason why people think that creating wealth requires that you steal, cheat or take advantage of others. In fact, if we understand the process of creating true wealth, we'll all love wealth and those who create it. Take a moment to think about this. I have an agric technology company and what we do is to help people who want to go into farming in my country to take the right decisions so that they won't lose their investments. We created our own business model and tried to do in the agriculture sector what Uber does in the transport sector. This way, we've been of tremendous help to a lot of people who patronize our business. It's because we help these people that they are willing to pay us and if we don't help them solve some problems, they wouldn't have been willing to pay us. Now, because they pay us, we are able to reinvest the money we make into other business and employ more people. This way, we are not only helping our clients but we are also helping people to get jobs so that they can live a good life. Now tell me who God should like between someone who doesn't contribute anything to the society and someone who creates products and services to make life easier for another human being. Tell me, who is doing better for the society? The man who takes a job from the economy and the man who adds 100 jobs. Yet, it's by creating innovative products and services people make money. Yet, it's by creating jobs people make money. To me, I think riches is righteous. If you truly want to contribute to the society and the nation you are from, the best way to do it is to dream of being wealthy because the path that leads to wealth is the path of service. You can't be truly rich except you serve. You can't be truly rich except you help thousands and millions of others. Hence, riches should be the desire of everyone who loves God and people. But what about the rich that are evil? I've often heard people saying the rich are evil. Well, I don't believe this to be true. 
I'm sorry. Saying the rich are evil is like saying the president of your country is a thief. That cannot be true because if the president of your country is a thief, then an average person in your country must be a thief because every country has the leader that's like an average person in the country. The rich are not evil. Human beings are evil. The rich are not bad. Human beings are bad. The rich are not liars or thieves. Human beings are liars and thieves. The money is neutral. The money is like weapons. The weapon doesn't make you evil. Money doesn't make you evil either. The weapon in the hand of an armed robber is evil but the same weapon in the hand of a soldier is a blessing to the nation. The rich are not evil. Human beings are. If you want to test my theory here, let's look at our society. Let's look at the doctors, the lawyers, the teachers, the drivers, the cleaners and everyone else. Do these people lie? Yes, according to a study, an average adult lies every 10 minutes. Do these people cheat and do bad things? Yes, they do. Do we have lawyers who are thieves? Yes, we do. Does this make every lawyer a thief? Do we have teachers who lie? Yes, we do. Does that make every teacher a liar? Do we have drivers who cheat and steal? Do we have bankers, doctors or engineers who are fraudulent? But does that make every teacher, banker, driver or engineer evil? We have teachers who steal. Yet, we don't say teachers are evil. But because we have wealthy people who are stealing, we say riches is evil. We have doctors who do evil. But we don't hate every doctor. But because a few rich people do evil, we decide to hate everyone who is rich. No, riches is righteous, riches is godly and riches is neutral. Just like a weapon. Look at it from another angle. Every 24 hours, about 100 people are shot dead in America alone. Yet, America still has about 270 million guns in the hands of its citizens. Does this make sense? Does it make sense that we still have 270 million guns in a country where 100 people lose their lives every day to guns? Well, that 100 people are evil enough to kill other humans doesn't make every human evil, right? That some people are bad enough to cheat and steal because of money doesn't make money bad. It's just about 100 people who are evil. The Empty Sack Cannot Stand Some months ago, I listened to the autobiography of Benjamin Franklin. In that autobiography, Benjamin Franklin wrote, An empty sack cannot stand. That's why we are making this video. Though everyone in the world is suspicious of riches, the truth is, an empty sack cannot stand. Though everyone thinks it's evil to make a lot of money, the truth is that money is the next important thing after oxygen. Though you might have been told many times that the rich are evil, well, the poor are as evil as the rich. If anything, I want to inspire you to look for riches so that you won't be evil. If you are poor, you'll be tempted to do many dirty things that are not right. If you are a righteous person before you become wealthy, then your wealth will be like a weapon in the hands of soldiers. Such a weapon is an asset for the nation. The wealth in the hands of righteous people is a great asset for the nation. The rich are not evil. Human beings are. The rich are not bad. Human beings are. The rich are not thieves. Human beings are. So why did we make this video? Well, we made this video to show you that you have to love wealth because you can be wealthy. You can't hate the rich and want to be rich because you can't have what you think is evil. We made this video to warn you that the easiest way to be poor forever is to think that every rich person is evil. We made this video to show you that riches is good and neutral just like a weapon. The weapon only becomes bad when bad people hold it. A weapon in the hands of the righteous is protection. Money is protection. Protection against hunger. Protection against suffering. Sometimes, money is protection against sickness and even against other human beings who may want to hurt you. Don't hate the rich if you don't want to be poor forever. 
Thank you so much for watching our videos. Are you between the ages of 15 and 40? Then, we invite you to join our new channel which was specially created to share with you inspiration and life's lessons to succeed in life. We call it Under 40 TV. Kindly look at the description box to join the Under 40 TV. We love you.